so this happened like um at night in downtown atlanta a uh, black man 45 years old walking his dog two uh, suspects comes up to him i don't know you know they i guess they had a altercation or whatever have you the guys wind up shooting and killing a man and stealing his dog yeah i said it they shot and killed him and then stole his dog and you know you know what kind of dog it was you know if, if it's niggas involved you know what kind of dog it was yes it was a pit bull and it's crazy now we shooting and killing people over dogs now now i know straight up like i know like nowadays especially black folks your take a man's best friend beyond the limits. You know what I'm saying? There used to be a point where dogs would just be, you know, in or around the house just to protect you. But nowadays, a, a dog has became a part of the family. It used to be, you know, the Caucasian thing, but now it's the black thing. You know what I'm saying? So I assumed that this man was, let, you know, walking his dog late at night or whatever have you, and, you know, some people spotted him, and I guess it might have been a full-blown pit or some, something like that. And they ran up on him and shot him and kill him, killed him and took his dog. And I don't know what to really say about it. I really don't. I'm speechless. You shot, you took this man's life and then stole his dog? To add insult to injury, you shot and killed him and then you stole his dog. And they got pictures of the of, of the, the guys that did it. That's crazy to me. But this is typical behavior that happens in Atlanta. And I knew, you know what I'm saying, throughout the like like this week and the, the earlier part of this this week that just passed and a week before, I was like, yo, it's only a matter of time when I find a story crazy to talk about coming from Atlanta. And this is a crazy story coming from Atlanta. You shoot and kill this man and then steal his dog. Like, straight up, how much you think you're going to get for the dog? Even if it's a full-blown blown, blown uh, blooded pit, pit or whatever. Are you going to mate? You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to have the dog have puppies? Like, what are you trying to do with this dog? How far do you think you're going to get? That's what I call. Now don't get don't get it twisted. I don't agree or condone, you know, what these people did. One person or two two people that shot him. I don't agree with it. But at the end of the day, like you shoot and kill, you shoot and kill him, and then you take his dog. Did you shoot and kill him for the dog? Or did you have a problem with the man? I don't know. But this is typical behavior for dealing with Atlanta. And now Atlanta get, police got to figure this shit out. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of people trying to defend this place, man. It's real talk. I'm tired of people trying to defend this this, this place. Whenever I do a, a, a video about Atlanta, you know what I get from people? They say, yo, you didn't make it. You wasn't able to, to make any money. You know, Atlanta is a city that's full of professionals. You know what I'm saying? If you have the money to live there, you can live a good life, this and that. So how? How? Like, you will act like just because you're making a lot of money that, that you become immune to violence. Like the stupid shit that people say in the comment section to defend this place that you really don't have a, a, a bed in. You don't, you don't, you don't make money off Atlanta. Atlanta makes money off of you. You know how many deaths have happened in Atlanta? Like, just stupid deaths, dumb shit. And people are still, specifically black folks, are still moving down there in drones. A friend of mine lives in downtown Atlanta, right? And every time I used to go visit this man, he stayed in a gated community, a couple of feet away from the hood. Every time I used to visit this man, 
I used to be weary of parking my car. Like, like I would have to park it outside of the gate. But when I went to go visit, it, it was like once or twice that I went, would go visit him like at night. But most of the times it would be in the morning, and the, like in the afternoon. But I would still be weary of parking my car out on the outside of the, of the gated fence because they were breaking in the cars inside the gated fence. And every time I used to go visit him, he would have his fucking gun like right on the counter. So as I'm knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He had a gun in his hand. Like, yo, why would you want to live like that? Don't get it twisted. I mean, I, I, I have firearms. I keep firearms on me. But I don't, when, if somebody knocks, if someone knocks on my door, most of the time it's people that are soliciting some shit. I don't answer my door with a gun in my hand every time. Let alone, like, sometimes it's, 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 it's like, I may see somebody that, that I may, it may make, may look a certain kind of way. And I'm like, yo, let me go get my fire on before I, you know, answer the door. But for the most, most part, I don't, I don't stay in a neighborhood or a community where I have to always keep my gun on me. I don't. But in Atlanta, man, shit. Man, if I lived in Atlanta, I, I, I swear to you not. I would definitely wear a bulletproof vest wherever I went. Straight up. Because it's it can go down any given time. Any given time. Any given time. Man, being in downtown Atlanta at night is dangerous dangerous it ain't nothing but a bunch of knuckleheads crackheads fucking homeless people all types of shit going on that's not positive so i just don't understand like even if why would you even live down in that area hell don't you see what's happening right up the street from downtown atlanta in buckhead Shit, you thinking you move the Buckhead? Oh, it's safe. Nah, you could get robbed, shot, and killed. People get shot and killed in Buckhead. People get their cars robbed in Buckhead. And this is a what? Buckhead is a well-to-do area. I just don't get it. I just don't get how black people will say stupid shit like, well, you know, if you're a professional and you're making this amount of money and this and that, are you immune from the violence is the question. Cause it doesn't make a difference This is my word For those that are listening That's trying to move your ass Specifically black ass down there Listen to what I'm saying Listen very carefully You can live in a gated community You can have a concierge That buzzes you in and, and, and pushes You know one of the motherfuckers That opens the elevator for you And has the key card and, and pushes a button and, and and to the third or the fourth floor to get you up to the, to where you gotta go. And you still could get robbed and shot and killed in a building like that with a car CA there from pronouncing it properly. Right. Don't make a difference where you're at in Atlanta. You can get it. It could pop off at any given fucking time. Any given time. There have been times when I lived in Atlanta, man, I was... I'm not going to say luck. I don't like to say luck or lucky. But when I live in Atlanta, the way that I moved, I guess that's the reason why nothing really happened to me. But for the most part, I, when I was down there, I didn't have any firearms. It wasn't until I moved back until I moved back up to Charlotte is when I you know, started having firearms. Other than that, I lived down in Atlanta. I ain't had shit on me. I might have had like a knife or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I ain't had nothing on me. Excuse me. But I knew, see, this is the thing. I knew once it got dark, I was going to a designated area. I wasn't hanging out, you know what I'm saying, driving around the land and all of that shit. Either I was going to that specific club or that specific place. And then after that, I was going straight home. I wasn't going to no Waffle House. I wasn't going to no hangout. No, none of that shit. None of that shit. None of it. You go to Magic City. I swear. I swear to you, man. I passed by Magic City one night, 
and it was just, I'm not lying. You pass down, the, go down the street, you could smell a weed smoke before you even get to the fucking club, the strip club. I just don't get it. I don't know why is it, why is it that these people, black people that is, why is it that y'all don't want to tell the truth about Atlanta? Straight up. You don't have any stake in it. Why you just don't want to tell the truth? You know what I'm saying? And then if they don't say that, they'll say, and which I, I, first and foremost, I agree that it is for professionals. It is for people that are make, making a lot of money because, come on, web, one bedroom apartments is like $2,500 a month. So it's strictly for people that's making like a large sum of money. So I'll say for as f financial, financially, it's, it's a city that, you know what I'm saying? But you have to make, in order for you to live there, you got to be a professional. You have to have some type of career where you're making some good type of money. And if not that, it's for young creatives. You know what I'm saying? If you got to, you know, uh, uh, if you're into like, you know, social media. You know what I'm saying? It is a, it is a, 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 a entertainment city. But as well as it's an entertainment city, you know what I'm saying? Where you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's 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 where it's where where it's so called you supposed to be. But like straight up, okay, all this shit that's going on in Atlanta is still a, a a thing where if you don't know, if you don't have any connections, there's no point of you moving there. And most people. That, that 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 have these YouTube or excuse me, these social media, you know what I'm saying, such as YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and they got 50, 60, 70, 80,000 subscribers, you'll think that they live in, you know, good down there. They're not. They're not. They're sleeping on someone's couches. And if they're not, they're they're all ganged up together. Like they may be sharing like a three-bedroom, and it may be like 10 motherfuckers in one a three-bedroom. Uh, apartment so if you're not connected there's no point of you going down there they'll tell you yo you know it's it's black hollywood i'm gonna say it again if you're not connected if you don't have any connections there's no point it's not one of them cities that when you go down there none of these cities are like that when you go down there instantly you get put on just because you live in atlanta or most people don't even live in Atlanta. Most people live in Metro Atlanta. So nine times out of 10, even if you get down there, I've said this a hundred thousand times. Even if you get down there, you're not gonna be living in Atlanta city limits. It's too expensive to live in Atlanta city limits. You're gonna be living in places like, and it's too dangerous. Either you're gonna, you're gonna either be living in places like Smyrna, Marietta, uh, well, overall, Cobb County, um, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody. I would advise you for real, if, to be real with you, if you can stand the racism and a lot of East Indians, I would tell you to move to Alpharetta before you move anywhere. Straight up. It's right along 400. If you want it, that, I mean, straight up, that's, that's, I'm telling you, that's the best move to make. It's, 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 it's somewhat safe and it's secluded. It's away from, from all of the chaos. But if you talking about like South Fulton County, forget about it. East Point, College Park, man, that shit look, those places look like Beirut. Around the airport, please. And don't even think about Stone Mountain. Shit. I cannot express this enough. Atlanta is fucking hood, man. It's the hoodest city I've ever seen in my fucking life. Straight up. And when you go outside of 285, it's racism. It's a racist ass place. So if you're not living like in inside Atlanta city limits, city limits, which you encounter there within Atlanta is classism. Bougie, bougie, snobby ass niggas. 
And then you encounter niggas. You, you know, motherfuckers run up in your shit. Then you you go outside of 285. You encounter racism. It's just not a good move, man. It's just not. And if you're into, you know, entertainment and you you wanna you wanna be a rapper, you wanna be a you know a YouTuber, you know, a you know, content creator overall. Man, you could do that shit inside your house. Straight up, you don't have to move somewhere in order to get put on. That's real shit. Like, man, this shit, that shit is just, man, Atlanta is dangerous, man. For real, it is. Mm. And this is something else they'll say, too. They'll say, well, you know, Chicago ain't no better. Charlotte ain't no better. Jacksonville, Florida ain't no better. New York ain't no better. They got the same thing. And all everybody got crime and this and that so forth. You're still you so so you trying to justify the bullshit that goes on in Atlanta? Cause I can tell you the difference between all of these cities that you may name. That that just is that, that has just as much as crime as Atlanta does. This is this is the, 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 the difference, for real. The difference between those cities and Atlanta is this. Atlanta is a black city. So black people think that when they move there, they have a more they have more of an opportunity being that it's a black city. And that all the hype that's centered around it, it makes one think that's in their early 20s, like, man, all I gotta do is move there. Man, they they got it popping, they got the clubs, they got, you know, it's black Hollywood. You know, I see the videos, I see the women looking good, I see the men driving big night, nice fancy cars. All of this is a facade, all of it. All of it, I tell you, I'm telling you, this is my word. All of this fake. I can't begin to tell you how many motherfuckers rent Rolls Royces, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and shit like that on the weekend just to motherfucking stunt. Straight up. That's real talk. Most of these motherfuckers that claim that they got this money, they got that money, they squatting. They squatting in somebody's house, not even paying rent. Most of these motherfuckers, if they not doing that, they live in the U-Haul trucks. If you don't believe me, check it out. All this shit I'm not making up. Motherfuckers broke as shit. They live in the U-Haul trucks. And if they not living in U-Haul trucks, they living in fucking storage centers. That shit is fake as shit. It's all a fucking stunt. That's real talk. I've seen it. I've seen it myself. I've seen motherfuckers go to Publix. If you don't believe me, I'm telling you this is my word. Go to Publix and wash up inside Publix. Because Publix got that. For those that know Publix grocery store, they got the big. When you go in the, 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 the bathroom, they got they got a separate stall, like a standalone stall. And then they got a big stall where you can fuck and, and you can close the shit. And they got a sink and all of that shit in there. Where you can take a shit and wash your ass inside that fucking damn little stall inside the men's um, bathroom. And I'm pretty sure they got one inside the woman's room. Motherfuckers is homeless. I seen it with my own eyes. Pull up the Kroger's. It's late at night. This motherfucker's turning over inside the car with a sheet over him and a pillow. I'm not making none of this shit up. So if you wanna, if you wanna end up like that, not to say that you're gonna end up like that, it's a possibility. If you take your black ass down there and don't have a fucking plan, if you don't have the connections, if you don't have Stand up people People that are sincere That if they tell you that they're going to do something for you They're going to do it If you don't have that Please You fucked Dude kind of got in contact with me Before I even moved to Atlanta Was like yo man when you get down here I'll hook you up I'm a manager this and that so forth Blah 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 I went to this nigga page I'm looking at his Instagram and all that shit I'm saying this shit don't even look right this shit don't even look right. The shit, the jewelry, the clothes, the cars, the hoes, this shit don't even look right. It look too perfect. They got, they got shit for that. When well, you could go to Atlanta, Atlanta, they got like a warehouse where you could take certain pictures. You could, you could record like, uh, um, 
like 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 a, a court. Like they got they got where where you can record. It's like set up like a courthouse where you can record, it, and they got an area where it's like a jail where you can record in. They got an area where you can take pictures and record, like as if you're driving flying a, a jet, flying in a jet. Man, man, you just don't know the fucking whew, how above and beyond these motherfuckers go. Just to make it look like they got something going on and they got shit going on. I don't know where that 45 year old man is from. But I just know that at the end of the day, you walking your dog and you just you get shot and killed and then they take your dog? My nigga, you couldn't at least call 911 for me. You could at least shot me in the leg. If, if it was about the dog, nigga, take the dog. But you took my life and the dog. Like I'm not making this shit up. You 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 drive a car, right? Up to the gas station to pump some gas. You go to pay pay for your gas, you come back, your car ain't there. You park your car like if you're an apartment complex, oh please. And it's not gated. I mean, they breaking, like I said before, I said this earlier in the video. They breaking in the cars. That's even in a gated community. Right? You park your car like on the outskirts, you know, of the of the apartment complex. You coming back, all your windows is busted out. You could you could take everything out of your car. You could have nothing but a fucking piece of gum inside sitting on top of your fucking damn seat. They gonna break the car, break into the car and get that piece of gum. Man, y'all can do what y'all want to do. Aside from that, let's say you do make it. What about the traffic? The traffic is ridiculous. The cost of living is ridiculous. Even if you got the money to, to afford to live in Atlanta, why would you? One bedroom, $2,500 a month, and I can tell you, man, they hitting you in the head for some bullshit. I'm telling you, this is my word. They call these these apartment luxury apartments. Ain't nothing luxury about them, except with the exception of the fucking name, luxury. So still moving down there, which is beyond me. You want so so you nah for real? Let's just be real. You as a man, you want to fuck like fake fake asses? Like what is your objective? Like you just want to go down there and party? Cause ain't nobody dancing anymore. I can tell you that all right off the rip. I've been to several fucking clubs in Atlanta. So if you talking about having fun, how you gonna have fun? Ain't nobody dancing anymore. When you go to the clubs, it's hookah lounges. That's what they need to call that shit. And you're written out booths. So you can't even talk to the broads unless you rent out a booth. Unless you buy her a drink and her friends. The fuck is you saying? This shit is crazy to me. And I don't even want to talk about the fun boys that's down there. That's a whole nother conversation to be had. I've seen dudes in Buckhead. And I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. I'm gonna tell you, seriously, this is my word. I'm looking at dudes in Buckhead when I was living in Atlanta. And I heard this song, I'm old school. The song that I heard in my mind is I don't wanna be a player no more. Son of son of nothing, 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 nothing looking for. Let me take my black ass home. Straight up. The dudes down there look just like real women. I swear to you not. I told the black community, you can have my black card. And I told the bitches and hoes, you can have my whole card. Because I'm done. Straight up. I'm a one woman man. Cause I'll be 
God damn. If a motherfucker tell me before we do this, I want to let you know. Oh, the end. I don't even want to say it because LGBTQ. They, this, they, man, they got the gangs down here, yo. Say some shit out of the way if you want to. And them niggas roll together. But a motherfucker got one time to tell me, you know, you can fill in the blank. You you think you got one time to tell me before we get it on. I just want to let you know. I, I, just pick out what casket you want. I just want to let you know that. Yeah, man. That's crazy.